Okay. Now uh, we we move on to a topic uh, on projection of planes. We have seen points first. Then second it was uh, projection of lines. Now projection of planes. A plane in general, plane means just just consider this uh, you know sheet a paper sheet of paper as a plane, plane paper. Okay. Uh, without thickness, it is very important. And you can name it as a lamina. So lamina or plane both are same. Plane or lamina. You can name it as both either plane or lamina. So this I'll call it as a plane or lamina, whatever it is. Now this is actually a rectangle shape. Right? This is a plane. Plane surface. This plane surface or lamina, whatever it is. Okay. Just see this sketch. What are drawn here with again you know normal uh, type of uh, a diagram. It is vertical plane, horizontal plane. Okay. These two vertical and horizontal planes is also called as reference planes. I'll write this. You know, reference planes. Okay. It's called uh, vertical and horizontal. Both planes are known as reference planes. Now, this reference planes I'll denote in short form as RP. Is this okay? Reference planes I'm denoting as short form as RP. Now, just look at this sketch. What I drawn? This this is paper. This paper we can keep it like this. Okay. This paper. If you have the vertical plane here and the horizontal plane here, what will you view in this side? Or I'll keep it like this for you. Okay. Now in the front view, that is in this view, this is front view. Now on your side, this is front view. When you see what you're going to see, you can just see a straight line. This. Way. I'll write uh, you know this top point as S and the bottom point as R. This is actually the paper is placed like this. In between VP and HP, this portion P, Q, R, S is the paper. Where will be the P now? P is here. Okay. As per this one, okay. P is here, Q is here, S is here, R is here. Is it clear? P, Q, R, S is the paper. And the front to you, this corner is S, S, and this is R. So. What I write, my image on front view that is what I am drawing on VP that is like this. My front side is S R and P Q. I can see S, but opposite end was P. It is not visible. You agree? It is not visible. What will I do? First I write, I see S, but P is invisible. I will write P S in the bracket. I already mentioned in the previous uh, no classes that. Which is not seen to direct eye, you can write it as in center bracket. Like this here, again R is here and Q is here. You can see R from your front view, and uh, Q cannot be seen. So I'll write the image here. This point is actually just R can be seen, and I'll write uh, Q in bracket. This becomes your Q. Okay, just understand what I'm writing. Now this becomes your front view. Now one more name for this, actually to say, when this line containing this whole plane, I told you plane means normal surface or lamina also. Okay, the line containing any one line containing this whole plane, which is directly can extended to this reference plane, that is VP. This is called, you know, your vertical trace. This I will write V. P. The line containing any plane which is extended to the vertical plane is called vertical trace. V T vertical trace. Okay. What do you mean by tracing? Tracing. You know, if I have a drawing here, I want to copy it. That means make in another drawing. We we just have to trace. If you have a thin paper, you know, polythene paper. Or like that, some paper we can make it an over image on this and trace it. 
if you take the paper, the other paper will have the same sketch what we have here. It's called tracing. Okay. So the line has got this plane. This line can be extended directly to the vertical plane. It becomes vertical trace. So this will be a straight line vertical trace. Okay. This can also be used for previous topic as uh, lines also. There also you can say you can horizontal line and trace and vertical trace. So it's planes. You can please understand. So this now vertical trace. Same way. Now this front we use over. Now top view from where you see this, this is my top view. So this is the paper again, it is kept like this. I see from the top, point P is here, point Q is here, point S is here, see the sketch, S is here and R is here. From the top I view, I can see P, this one you can see, what is hidden, Q is hidden. So what I will write you, write down here, I will see P, Q will be point hidden. Is this clear? Okay, now I from the top I see the opposite side S here. This side S, S can be seen, and R cannot be seen. The R is again a hidden one. Is this clear? R is hidden. So it is P, Q, R, and S. So this is what I write. Now whatever we are writing in this horizontal line. Now what this line actually this S R is a line of this lamina, one side, one line or one edge I can say, it is directly can be extended to this bottom, I mean horizontal plane, I will say it is a horizontal trace, HT. Or I will, instead of writing it here, you know, I will write it here, horizontal trace, or I will write it here. Because this line is directly extended to the horizontal plane, that is, I wrote one more name of this horizontal vertical plane is called reference planes. Okay, so horizontal it is just in the extended to the horizontal plane is called horizontal trace. It's called tracing. So remember the line which is extended to the vertical plane. Any one line of the plane which can be directly extended to the vertical plane becomes vertical trace. So this line is extended. This is also extended. It forms a line. Vertical trace it is. Okay, and Opposite side, if we see from the top view, this line SR can be extended down directly, is it not? It comes to the point here and this PQ is extended down. So this becomes your horizontal trace. This, so in project planes or if you say it's planes, surfaces, surfaces or lamina, all the same, all the name is same. So this is one type of sketch. Now coming to the original positions, you know you have different uh, positions of uh, this uh, uh, planes can be kept wherever it is. Now as such we have seen in the lines, you have different steps. I have four steps of you know, uh, how a plane can be positioned. Is it clear? How it is? Now plane, first thing plane, this symbol is perpendicular. I hope you all understand because the symbol shows perpendicular. The plane perpendicular to both the reference planes. I told RP. No, this is reference planes. First option is, first position is plane perpendicular to both the reference planes are P, right? Now, instead of going to second, third and four, I will tell you just an example of this. Plane perpendicular to both the reference planes, what is the meaning? This is a plane. This is my VP. This is my HP. This is other plane, okay? This is surface, but plane also. How would it be perpendicular? If I keep it this like this, you say, this whole, it is a body, no? It is in one surface. Do not have thickness. Kindly remember, lamina or plane means it is only surface which just without considering the negligible thickness. No thickness at all. This place. This plane, how do I make it uh, perpendicular to VP? I mean, no. Perpendicular to both the reference planes, how? If I keep it like this, is it perpendicular? See, this rectangle. Okay. Now, is this perpendicular? No. This fashion. It is perpendicular to vertical plane. There is vertical plane perpendicular. From top also you see, that means, from the top what can you draw, or in the front what can you draw, the front view you draw, I will draw just a line. See, this is XY, yeah, this is my VP, this is my HP, right. So from there, whatever the A, B, C, D, 9 points you give, but you are drawing only a line, it's perpendicular, like this. No, you can even have a, you know, this stack piece. I was talking about lines, if a line is like this, perpendicular how? This like this. It is parallel, it should be like this, is it not? Perpendicular is like this. Like this is a plane. 
Right, you just write it perpendicular line. You see one line in perpendicular. So the top you see what you see? It is another line. Correct. Now how will draw? Top from top view. If you see from this, is point this, point this. Again. See this distance will be specified. It is in front of, above, as we have learned from points. Like this is. Now I join this. It will come perpendicular. This is first option. Plane perpendicular to both reference planes. Actually it has got a surface. It is A, B, C, D. It is 100 millimeter, you know, maybe the length, breadth may be 50 millimeter or centimeters, but it is perpendicular to both P, P and I can name it, you can name it any point. You keep it A, this is B, C and D. So your A is visible, you write small a. I'll write small letters, okay, small a. You just write with a dash. Kindly remember, you are writing on dash in different view. And uh, I said A, B, C and D. D will be invisible inside the dash. A, B, C, D. Now, what is the bottom one now? This one. B is visible, point B. B dash. A, B, C and D. This C. C is invisible from your line. Can you see only, the, only this point? So, C is dash is this. This one front view. From top view, I have A, B, C and D. I can first see, what is this one? A, A B, C, D. D I can see. I will see D. Okay, but which is invisible? The bottommost line. A, B, C. C is invisible. You, you can write D1, C1 instead of you know, writing dash here. Then down, what is remaining? Actually, you can see this first and then, I mean, this point is first and this point is second. Okay, and so A you can see, point A, A1. And what about uh, A, B? B is invisible. Right? V1. That's all. This is over. This is a point where plane perpendicular to both the reference planes. This is a plane perpendicular to vertical plane and horizontal plane. This is one model. Now what will I do? Second one it says plane perpendicular to one of the reference plane and parallel to other. How would we make it? The line is, you know, this is parallel to both. Could you please remember what we learnt? Now, perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP, right? The same fashion you show the plane, it is an area. That is it, without any thickness, just a paper or a plane or a surface or a lamina. Now, plane perpendicular to one of the reference, anyone, either to VP or I will just perpendicular to keep it like this. How to make it parallel to other one? Keep it like this. Is it okay? You can see a line, it's again line only, maybe it is a horizontal line, right? If you keep it like this, it is perpendicular to both VP and HP. When you keep it like this, now it is what perpendicular to VP alone, front view. You draw a simple line. You kindly note that every sketch you have to indicate X, Y, VP, HP and only, only draw the answer. But since you have, you know, keep on every class you can understand what we are writing. It is an common idea. I just write the answer. In the meaning that, you know, in the, in the, uh, 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 assumption that you can understand better, that is why. So, I can write A, B again, A, B, C, D. A is here, I will write A. What is hidden here? I am sorry, A, B, C, D. Is B here? I will write point B. What is hidden? C is hidden. I will write C inside. And okay, again this, front view. X and Y. V, P, H, P. A, B, C. B you can see, C you can see, B dash, C dash, C dash is inside. Then, what about this side? A you can see, A dash, D you cannot see, D dash. Hidden is inside the bracket, that's it. This is from the front view. What about top view? This four, full lamina. It's parallel, no? We are making it, this plane, perpendicular to one plane. That was the option says, second option. Perpendicular to one plane is VP, I am making perpendicular to VP but parallel to the HP. Now in parallel what I can say, I can see clearly A point, B point, C point and D point. Is it right? See we are always, the correct uh, you know, way of writing is, which is nearer to the reference plane, that alone we will write starting first. You can ask me sir, why don't we write, when you make it, no this is a rectangle in the top view, right? If you make a rectangle slowly, no, I just want to clear this sir. How? You can let it be. 
Let us make it very clear by drawing a sketch. Okay, that's fine. Now this is in the top view it is a rectangle. How will I do? Just bring this down. This is called projection lines. I was starting from the beginning class. Remember what you can see from the top. You can see this and this full rectangle. All right. And you see the length may be of this one, this is 100 or this 50, whatever it is. Okay. But while marking, what to write? First you write this and second edge. Because actually to speak it is like this. My A, B, C and D. And when you see from the top you are in the floor cut, but it is turned like this now. Fine, because the paper is like this, here is the board. You see, actually a board has to be in the half way. Now you have to think imagination, half board is straight, half board is horizontal. How does it look? You just feel it. So, A, B, C, D, I can see this one, it goes down like this. So obviously, A should come down. Is it not? I am just rotating it down. So, I will write my A first. You can see A as it is. This may be B. I will write A1, B1. You can just indicate uh, uh, differentiation. Then, A, B, I said C and D. Correct? Yeah. A and D in one side, B and C, in. C, C as it is, then you C, C1 and D1. Is this clear? Just imagine in the perpendicular, I mean front view, it is only one line I can see, but other point is hidden, I am written in terms of, you know, bracket. That is, a, to satisfy the second option, plane perpendicular to one of the reference planes, kindly understand, RP means reference plane, either it is HP or VP, and parallel to other. So, I made it one perpendicular, okay, and parallel to other. Parallel to HP now, HP is made it. That is it. It is very simple to understand. Now, this is second case. 